With just two months to go before President Trump leaves office, his Secretary of State Mike Pompeo arrived in Israel today and as a parting gift to underscore the deep ties between the two nations, he broke with international norms to become the first American official to visit an Israeli settlement in the disputed West Bank. For a long time the State Department took the wrong view of settlements. Uh, it took a view uh, that didn't recognize the history of this special place. And instead now today the United States Department of State stands strongly to the recognition that uh, settlements can be done in a way that are lawful and appropriate and proper. It's one thing to recognize the settlements, which the Trump administration officially did in 2019, but it's another for an American diplomat to actually visit one. Palestinian protesters marched through the city of Al Bireh as Mr. Pompeo toured a winery in a nearby Israeli settlement where he announced that products from that and other settlements can be labeled made in Israel. Enjoyed lunch at the scenic Sagot winery today, Pompeo later tweeted. Unfortunately, Sagot and other businesses have been targeted by pernicious EU labelling efforts that facilitate the boycott of Israeli companies. The US stands with Israel and will not tolerate any form of delegitimization. The European Union requires imports from the occupied territory to be labelled as such because it, the Palestinians and most of the international community oppose the Israeli settlements. Well, I'm very angry, very disappointed. Land illegally seized from the Palestinians by Israel at the end of the infamous six-day war in 1967. Mr. Bombeo is really contradicting the United States Constitution. He's coming to give legitimacy to the settlers who are trespassing the privately owned land. We hope that the new administration of Mr. Biden will reverse all the steps that taken by Mr. Trump. Steps that Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu listed in lengthy gushing terms today. Thanks to President Trump, the U.S. recognized Jerusalem as Israel's capital. And moves that will be hard for an incoming Joe Biden to unravel. The United States recognized Israeli sovereignty over the Golan Heights, thanks to President Trump. The Golan Heights, another controversial site captured from Syria that Mr. Pompeo also chose to visit today. You can't stand here and stare out at what's across the border and deny the central thing that President Trump recognized that previous presidents had refused to do, that this is a part of Israel, a central part of Israel. The UN also denies this is part of Israel, but for the Trump administration, another photo op and another chance to make a lasting mark in the dying days of his presidency.